Hi everyone, so you know who this is, right? Tom Watson. He's Labour Party Deputy Leader. I know. I know. Um, and he's also Labour. The, the, the main reason that Labour haven't got a massive lead in the polls right now. Honestly, they should be out of sight. And it's people like him that are the problem. He's the reason that you haven't got a massive lead at the very least, a massive lead in the polls for the Labour Party. And really, if you think about it, he's one of the main reasons why you haven't got a Jeremy Corbyn-led socialist government right now. It's people like him and the other MPs that are stopping that happening. The, Blair the Blairites. He's one of the main people who's been fueling this fake anti-Semitism row, as they're calling it in the media. It's not an anti-Semitism row. It's a silencing of any anti-war voices. It's a silencing of anybody who's pro-Palestine. It's a silencing of anybody who's anti-Israel and anti-war. That's what it is. An anti-establishment. That's what this silencing is. It's not an anti-Semitism row. And I'm fed up of people calling it that and framing it. Because it's not. It's state-sponsored censorship on behalf of an apartheid state. That's what it is. Now, I was pushing for him to be deselected over the last few weeks because he's awful. He really is. I'll go on to show you how awful, awful as well in this video. I was pushing for him to be deselected over the last few weeks because of the window that was open that I think is now just about closed. I think that's, it's just closed now, the window for deselections. But it doesn't look like that's happened with him. However... There is a bit of good news because George Galloway has decided, right, OK, I'm going to go after him and I'm going to stand as a prospective parliamentary candidate for West Bromwich East, which is Tom Watson's constituency. Now, I'm going to go to the Birmingham Mail for this because they did an interview with George Galloway. Um, and this is one of my actual my local papers. This is not far from me. Um, I just want to read a couple of pages from it just to show you how out of touch Tom Watson is and how he really is in trouble here. Judge Galloway in bid to replace Labour Deputy Leader Tom Watson as an MP for West Brom East, it says. This is, honestly, this is hilarious when you think about it. Left-wing politician George Galloway is beginning, is bidding, sorry, to become Black Country MP by standing against Labour Deputy Leader Tom Watson. Mr Galloway is to stand as a pro-Brexit and pro jeremy Corbyn independent candidate in Mr Watson's seat of West Brom East. As soon as I heard that pro-Brexit and pro jeremy Corbyn, I thought, uh-oh, Tom Watson's in trouble. Because I know I live in the Black Country. Remember, I live not far from it in Wolverhampton. We were almost identical to the Leave vote in West Brom East, in my constituency. My MP, she's been pushing for a second referendum and stopping in the EU as well, even though we voted two to one against it. Go figure. He said, George Galloway did, I'm an experienced parliamentarian, I'm an experienced campaigner and election fighter, and Tom Watson now has a fight on his hands. Yes, he does. He also accused Mr Watson of attempting to block Brexit and trying to wreck Jamie Corbyn's campaign to become Prime Minister. I absolutely have documented that over the, over the last year. Mr Watson hit back, though. Check this out. Insisting he was working with Jamie Corbyn to find a solution in the UK's Brexit mess and claimed and claiming Mr Galloway fawned pathetically to former dictator Saddam Hussein. I told you, it's hilarious. If Tom Watson's strategy for this upcoming, you know, bid by George Galloway to oust him, and it might well be upcoming, I'll come to that at the end of the video, but if that's his tactics to bring up the Iraq war and, and point to George Galloway and, and say, oh, the Iraq war... He's really in trouble because George Galloway was right about the Iraq war. And as I'm going to show you in a bit, Tom Watson was wrong. Continues this article does there. Speaking to Birmingham Live, Mr Galloway said he was firmly committed to Brexit and argued Mr Watson was letting down his constituents by demanding a second referendum. I think he has badly let down the 68% of constituents who voted for Brexit. Honestly, it's almost identical. It's almost two thirds here, almost identical in the black country. I'll go on to explain why this is. But I think he has badly let down 68% of the constituents who voted for Brexit. That is my principal gripe with him. 
He has become the reckoning chief of Brexit. And when more than two thirds of your own constituents choose Brexit, that's an abuse of his position. I agree. I've made that point with my own MP Emma Reynolds as well. Mr Galloway also claimed that Mr Watson had sabotaged efforts to elect a Labour government led by Jeremy Corbyn. Secondly, his constituency badly needs a Labour government and he is the principal obstacle to having a Labour government. He is, as I just pointed out. He does nothing in politics except try to wreck the possibility of a Labour being elected in what might now be an early election. It's key. I'll come to that at the end. He has done everything in his power to make Labour unelectable. Mr Galloway said that if elected as an independent, he would back Jeremy Corbyn and a Labour government. That line, right there at the bottom, can you say the same of Tom Watson, if he gets voted in? Can you say that he would back Jeremy Corbyn and the Labour government if Tom Watson gets in? And that's a Labour MP. He's no progressive. His record, quite frankly, is that of a neoliberal. He's voted consistent, it's consistently for the Iraq war, only abstaining once. He's voted time and time again, six votes for two against three absences for the use of military force overseas. Why? Why, Tom? You know, they'd never go on to explain it. Consistently voted it against investigations into the Iraq war, a war that we went into based upon lies, lies and propaganda that cost millions and millions of pounds and millions of lives, over a million lives, they're saying, that war cost. Certainly hundreds of thousands, even a, even a conservative estimate is hundreds of thousands. Based on lies. Why can't we have investigations to find out what the hell happened there and learn from it and move on, Tom? Is it because you want that to happen again now? Because it's happening right now. As you can see, generally voted for a place in Trident. That's not in line with, Jer with Jeremy Corbyn, although I understand how the Labour Party sort of force him into a position or back him into a position that he doesn't necessarily want to take. And he generally voted for the UK membership of the EU. Down there. He's a neoliberal. His, his stance on, you know, social issues is usually quite good, but that's what neoliberal, that's what they do. He's a neoliberal. He's a Blairite. He's everything that's wrong with the Labour Party, and he's everything, what, uh, he's everything that's wrong with MPs in Parliament. I'll tell you what he is also. He's bloody scared at the moment, because he knows his days are numbered. These deselections have got him rattled. So he's here in politics. Now. I'm going to decipher that ridiculous headline. That headline actually really should say, Blairites are going to get lessons on how to, being avoid, uh, how to avoid being purged by members of their own party. That's what that headline should have been. And he's been giving them lessons. Apparently had a meeting um, not long ago with 160 MPs who, you know, now there's text messages going around between them as to, oh, how they're going to avoid being deselected. It's preposterous. Just represent the people that you're meant to represent. Do your job. There you go. End of lesson. But they're on the ropes and they are desperate and they were desperate. It showed in the deselect in the silencing of Chris Williamson, which was, um, you know, very recent. And it showed here again. This is the latest on Tom Watson. Sorry about the paper, but I was in a rush and I just had to find something with a headline. I could say he's pushing his own radical change to the Labour Party rules to make it easier to expel mem members for anti-Semitism. It's a joke, it really is. He's desperate now, desperately trying to push it. And remember, he's pushing this on behalf of the establishment as well. You know, the UK establishment love this. The Tories love this. They love what he's doing. Tom Watson, basically, that's what he is. He's a Tory. Remember, a neoliberal is a centre-right person. Not centrist, he's centre-right how the Overton window gets changed. This is the latest though. Now remember, remember by the way, this is on the back of his attacks on Jenny Formby. Okay, the Labour Party General Secretary. Um, his, his open letter 
that was critical of her and critical of um, her and, and critical of the Labour Party because of this whole Panorama programme that you no doubt missed like I did. I was washing my hair, so I couldn't see it. Chucks. This Panorama special anti-Semitism in the Labour Party, which we all knew was rubbish. You know, he'd come out and publicly attacked her in a letter. Remember, Jenny Formby is a cancer patient. It's a cancer patient. He's publicly attacking her. Yet, one person, one person sends a private email asking for Ellie Reeves to be deselected while she's five months pregnant. That's bullying. What do you call what Tom Watson did with Jenny Formby? You know? But again, anybody can see this hypocrisy. Jenny Formby, in response, accused him of publicly attacking her and denigrating the progress he has made. This is the result of this week. Like I say, he's in trouble. This is from Squawk Box. All Labour councillors in Watson's home borough stand in solidarity with Formby, except two who work for him. Why is that, Tom? Did you send them on a junket to Israel? By any chance, did you? So they're standing in solidarity apart from the two who worked for Tom Watson. I know West Brom. I know this constituency that George Galloway is going to, I suppose, primary, if you want the American term. Um, it's not really a primary, though, is it? It's a, he's going to run against him in an election. I know it. I worked there for years. It's the same pretty much as where I live in Wolverhampton. Pretty much the same. It's, it's, a, it's, a, it's the black country. We were a huge, huge manufacturing area. Not just a manufacturing area either. I, I used to work opposite the Hawthorns, the West Bromwich Albion ground, next to the bakery. You know, you'll remember, it was, a, it was a fittings company. They used to sell steel. There were five or six companies with a five-mile radius, I remember, of that area when I was in my 20s, just selling the steel. There were jobs all over the place, and now those jobs are gone. Now, these people were told that they were all going to be rocket scientists and computer programmers. What they've ended up being is Uber drivers and shelf stackers at Amazon. Or, that's, that's the best case scenario. Worst case scenario is dead because of austerity. I've looked at the numbers. He's only going to need about 15,000 votes in that constituency. And, um, yeah, Tom Watson's toast. But looking at it, there's stuff happening every hour. Now, this is Squawk Box again. After Sandwell Council Leader and CEO Watson linked, Deputy Leader also resigns. So there's more resignations in that area. Now, I don't know whether this is linked to Tom Watson yet. <clears throat> Your guess is as good as mine. But it doesn't look good for him. You know, remember, this is an area that's been destroyed by neoliberalism. Jobs have gone. They've just gone. They want, and, you know, they, they blame the EU. They blame global, uh, globalisation. Rightly so, in my opinion. I'm of the same opinion. I come from that area. Tom Watson is toast if it goes to an election. But it won't go into an election, of course. It won't. Here's the status of George Galloway's GoFundMe. Yeah, he's going to be people funded. He's going to be properly independent. He's already well over 5,000. This was from a few, day, a few hours ago. I wouldn't be surprised if it's up near six by now. I'll leave a link below to his GoFundMe if you want to go and donate. But he's got a bloody good chance. I'd vote for him. I really would. <laughs> you know what? I'd probably campaign for him, to be honest. He could be in by Christmas. Here's the thing, and here's why Tom Watson's doing stuff like this. Because George Galloway, he's a shrewd fella, and he knows which way the wind is blowing. And the way the wind is blowing right now is that we're going to get a new Prime Minister, voted in by 160,000 members of <laughs> the Conservative Party. 97% of, uh, of, of whom are white. There's a statistic for you. 97% white. That's the Conservative Party. But Labour's the one who's racist. <laughs> it's just a joke, it really is. Anyway, they, they're going to vote in this new Prime Minister who looks like it's going to be Boris Johnson. I know. Boris Johnson. Boris Johnson, a blithering buffoon, 
who wouldn't know his ass from his elbow unless an aide told him. And even if an aide told him, he'd probably still get it wrong in the first two takes. He's an idiot. But he's an idiot who knows which way the wind, wind is blowing and he knows that people want this Brexit. So, he, he, by the way, if he becomes Prime Minister, he cannot get Brexit as it stands. He just won't be able to get it through. He'll face the same problems that May has faced. The only way I think that Boris Johnson can deliver on his promise is to call a general election and try and get another government and try and get a government, you know, a, 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 a minority government in league with the Brexit party. Not going to work. Not going to work. I really don't think it's going to work. If, if, and it's a big if, these deselections happen. Because it looks like the deselections will happen in the next couple of months, September, I think they were saying. So if we have a general election, it's going to be pretty soon after that. Honestly, Tom Watson, this is his last hurrah. And that's why he's doing this nonsense, I think. This, you know, pushing for state-sponsored censorship on behalf of an apartheid state. Tom, pe the British people are not going to accept this, Tom. We're just not going to, to accept it. Even conservatives won't accept this. Okay? Just stop it. He's got a great chance, George Galloway has. And Tom Watson is on the way out. And you know what? I am not going to shed a tear for him. Because like I say, he's everything that is wrong with politics in this country and he's definitely everything that's wrong with the Labour Party. He's the, he's the reason. And MPs like him within the Labour Party, and people like him within the Labour Party, they're the reason you haven't got a Jamie Corbyn-led government in this country. He's certainly, he's certainly the reason Jamie Corbyn hasn't got a lead in the polls. He should be out of sight. He would be if he had the support of his PLP. And that's why people like Tom Watson have either got to be deselected or have got to be ousted by people like George Galloway. You go, George. It's excellent.